Hey guys, Ash here from C4E Tech and OnePlus just officially, finally, officially launched the OnePlus 5. And in this video, let's take a look at a few things you need to know about this. Number one, I'm Indian and we Indian media don't get to make videos about the actual product till the actual Indian launch and we are only allowed to report what's been announced. So I know, I know, I know. That's just the way it is. I can't do much about it. So take it up with OnePlus. So anyway, let's now get to number two. As rumored, the OnePlus 5 is looking quite a bit like another phone. I just can't put my mind to which phone it is. A Samsung, an orange. Okay, orange is not a brand. I don't know if you guys do know which phone it kind of resembles let me know in the comments below okay okay now i'm serious you know jokes apart we are getting to the good stuff about the oneplus 5 so anyway number three the specs the latest and greatest snapdragon 835 under the hood uh, with the adreno 540 gpu 6 or a whooping 8 gigs of ram with corresponding 64 or 128 gig storage options Next up, the latest Oxygen OS built on top of Android 7 Nougat. So with an almost stock build of Android and the Snapdragon 835 at its heart, this, sh this thing should be a beast. It should manage to outperform most devices in the segment or even phones priced higher. The big question here is, can it beat the iPhone 7 in a speed test? Well, let's check that out soon. Stay tuned for more coverage. One thing that might disappoint you is for the fourth year in a row, OnePlus has gone with a Full HD panel. For me personally, Full HD isn't that much of a deal breaker. They are still using Optic AMOLED here, so deep inky blacks, good contrast and saturation are to be expected. Anyway, can you tell a Full HD display apart from a Quad HD display? Well, here's a blind test. Check it out and let me know if you could. Next up, the cameras. The cameras on the OnePlus 3T or rather the rear camera on the OnePlus 3T was highly underrated in my opinion. It was good. This time around though, OnePlus have gone with a dual camera setup, worked with the EXO Mark on it. Uh, so we've got a primary 16 megapixel camera, that's the Sony IMX398 sensor with an f1.7 aperture. A secondary camera that uses the Sony IMX350 sensor, 20 megapixels with an f2.6 aperture. Weirdly though, both cameras lack optical image stabilization. The secondary camera will be used for both lossless zoom as well as a for bokeh effect a la portrait mode. So does this excite you? Do you wanna see samples? Well, we'll bring them to you soon. For now, this is the information we have and we are excited to check these cameras out. Next up, jack remains unlike some teased images the headphone jack is alive and well on the oneplus 5 that is one apple feature i'm glad they haven't gone with finally price this hasn't been officially confirmed since the it was a global launch that happened the indian pricing will be announced to the indian launch which will happen in two days but current rumors indicate to a pricing of 33,000 rupees for the 664 variant and 36,000 rupees for the 820 128 gig variant this is something we will confirm to you soon so Again, stay tuned. So that's it guys for this quick video. All you need to know about the OnePlus 5 that just got launched. If you have any particular speed tests or comparison requirements in mind, head on over to the comments below. Let me know when we will try to make that happen. Now, if you hated this video, you know what to do. Give this video a big, huge thumbs down. But if you did like it, give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button down below for more coverage on the OnePlus 5. Uh, if you have already subscribed, Hit that bell icon to make sure you get notified each time a new video goes live here on C4E Tech. And that's it. Thanks a lot for watching. Till next time, this year is Ash. You've been watching C4E Tech. And I'm signing off for now. You guys have a great day. Bye-bye.